Cisco VAS Wide Area Application Services. I'm really excited for sharing with you what exactly the uh, curricular I've created and what exactly you are going to learn from my curriculums. Uh, I really, really spend a lot of time for structuring my course that how the overall structure should be so that you'll be going to get the most 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 benefit out of it so um with the intro the uh, the course is going to begin up with the need of why daily application services so you before beginning our learning about the what exactly cisco vas is all about you should be able to understand that why we need a vas or a van optimization in your network any network so so is that any network which you really need a van optimization or there is a specific kind of networks which should be having a van optimizers so this with the intro i have covered two lectures on the need of vas and what are the van challenges that we are having in the our existing network which really demands a van optimizers from this we are going to begin with after that I have given a dedicated lecture for your Cisco VAS introduction in which I have briefed about what exactly the Cisco VAS is all about. Then we have a deployment architectures that how your Cisco VAS provides what type of deployment architectures. This is kind of a theory one which, which is more than seven minutes of understanding the various kind of deployment modes available in your Cisco VAS then we have a optimizations that in this i really given a, uh, a dedicated two lectures on van optimizations which in which i have i've explained what are the different type of optimizations available in cisco vas and in which type of traffics and what type of traffics what optimizers you should be concentrate and what type of optimizers will be going to give a benefit to which type of network traffic which is really important for you to understand that what optimizations are really really important for which type of traffic so this has really been covered in this optimization lectures then we have application accelerations and your vast interceptions in which I've tried to cover about the application specific accelerations that we have in a network some kind of a very common type of application so how can a VAS a Cisco VAS really really give an advantage or really give a improvement for your network for those common applications this will be really really benefit for those common applications Cisco VAS can really accelerate those so we have a section for explaining those and then the most important thing VAS interceptions how your network traffic is able to intercept with your VAS devices or your way devices so what are the different methods available that are explained in VAS interceptions once we understand the uh, some of the very basic concepts then we are moving into the installation and configuration of your cisco vas in which i have detailed about the very basic installation and configuration needed for your cisco vas then moving ahead we have moved one step in advanced about the traffic policies application traffic policies once you configure your cisco vas how you're going to create your policies, how you're going to manage your policies and at the end monitor it. So a dedicated number of um, kind of more than uh, 10 minutes of lectures for your traffic policies, which in which you're going to learn about creating those from your central manager, managing from your central manager, even from your wave devices and monitoring from your central manager. Then once you understand about the traffic policies then we comes about a really really very base topic or the core topic of your cisco vas that is your wccp version 2 this is really really important because this is a 
90 percent of traffic interception is happening with the help of WCCP so I have did I have dedicated lectures more than six to seven lectures for WCCP version 2 just a theory and it's really really minded it's really important for you to deploy your interception mechanism with WCCP you should really understand the theory behind it what type of various interception methods available how the load distributions can be done with WCCP how you can redirect the traffic how the traffic is return methods are available so all those things are discussed in detail in WCCP sections once you understand that then we are moving one step ahead on considering advanced Cisco VAS features we have understood the WCCP then we'll see how this Cisco, how the configuration of WCCP is going to be uh, present in your Cisco VAS. So this we have a dedicated section for configuring the advanced Cisco VAS features. And also if you are running in an inline mode, that what type of configurations you will be going to need. Up. So the whole course is designed a one step kind of a ladder for you you'll be going to smoothly going to reach up the top level where you will be you'll be you'll be feel like you're going in a rhythm way of one by one step of understanding this whole Cisco VAS we have a troubleshooting section yeah you really need that and the troubleshooting here I've not put up just the for what what the standard troubleshooting is all about but I've put up all my practical troubleshootings and my practical exposures which I faced up off as an L3 engineer when I was with my previous company or when I was working as an L3 engineer and used to get the cases for the Cisco VAS troubleshootings I really put up those those things like when you configure those when it doesn't work what type of troubleshooting you should be what type of command you should use it what type of parameters you should check it that is really going to help you a lot so the reason I you I choose this type of a curricular is just uh, if you go on the internet you will be not going to find much information available I'm not saying the information is not available yeah it is there in a various Cisco docs or Cisco wiki you'll be going to find a lot of information about the Cisco VAS but it you'll be going to end up with you really need a course which demonstrate you okay these are the basic things which you should understand about the Cisco VAS then you can easily go ahead by yourself see no no a thing not a single technology can or not, or not a single uh, course can provide an end-to-end -end for any of your technology a course or a guide can help you to uh, which which can push you or you which which can say a go ahead to you so you can go and start uh, exploring or configuring or implementing by your own for that you really need a kind of a uh, basics about the that particular technology and in uh, a certain level of depth of understanding that particular technology which uh, which can really help you so that you by yourself can go ahead and do configure implement or troubleshoot it so that is the that is the main reason for my course that I have tried to cover as much as I can with a certain depth so that in you can just have my course and you can really uh, whatever in your existing network if you are having a VAS you can troubleshoot it or you can implement or you can configure it so it's kind of a systematic end-to-end -end covering above all the basics of VAS with a certain level of depth knowledge you, who are all the people who are going to get the maximum out of this course if you really understand your network your van challenges you can just go through my course try to relate it you will be going to get a solution that what are your van challenges these are the solutions or what type of uh, uh, you'll be going to understand the various deployment modes which type of deployment mode you should use it how your network is network is what type of architecture best suits your network this this comparison if you made it I'm damn sure you're going to uh, you're going to achieve a different level of understanding of this particular technology and obviously the troubleshooting is a kind of art and it's 
every technology or every protocol or it's even a routing protocol or MPLS or and of any technology have a different art or different way of troubleshooting so even if you configure if you don't understand what how to verify your parameters or how to verify what parameters you have configured are correctly or not from which commands you should go and check it that's going to cover in this uh, troubleshooting sections so I'm really looking forward for you guys to go ahead and take up this course and try to uh, get um, maximum benefit as you can from this particular course. Shoot your comments, shoot your feedbacks. I'm really, I'm, I'm for there for providing you the full support, whatever the difficulties you will be going to have it or whatever doubts you are, you'll be going to have. I will try my level best to clear all your doubts. Thank you very much and we'll meet up in the course. Thank you.